Hey guys, this is Shamal from Team PGSC, uh, and today I'll be going over my um, updated, I guess, uh, deck profile of my Invernoble Knights. It has been a while, I know. Um, I've been kind of busy with work and stuff, so I've not been able to upload as much as I wanted to. Uh, just a quick update, um, I probably won't be doing the uh, Invernoble Knight vs. the World series um, anymore, just because I feel like it takes a lot of time to try and get enough good matches in a way, and also... I mean, the meta is changing so frequently that I, with work going on and stuff, I probably won't have enough time to be able to manage all the, um, basically, have been able to grind enough to be able to understand exactly how to change my deck throughout the way. But I have managed to get a uh, new list for my uh, Infernal Lines at the moment, uh, and uh, we'll go over that just to see um, what has changed, you know, what has stayed the same. Uh, because now that we've lost Smoke Grenade, it's, yeah, there's a, there's a different kind of uh, game plan, I guess. Uh, so let's try and see uh, what we what we've got. So uh, firstly, we have uh, our, our starters. So we have the three connector and the aqua dolphin. So this hasn't changed at all, uh, and that's just because well, it's it's the bread and butter of the deck, isn't it? So uh, a new space connector will get you to your dolphin. Dolphin can still rip a card out of hand. So even though we don't have smoke grenade, we still have him uh, to do a bit of work for us. Uh, not much to say there. Uh, then we have uh, three uh, red layer and three fire flint. Uh, again, standard. Uh, just any way to get to his old really. And uh, fire flint again uh, can act as a really good extender, especially if, uh, <clears throat> especially if you open up uh, Gemba. Then we have the uh, Infernoble Knights. So I have my uh, Ogier. I have two Oliver and three Renaud. So again, kind of standard. Uh, Ogier just gets you to your gear freed. Oliver is your tuner. I'm thinking to bump in this up to three, but I'm not quite sure at the moment, just because I feel like there's a lot of other things the deck wants to try and do, even though it, going to Needle Fiber is the main point of the deck, I guess. Uh, and I also have three Renault because, I mean, he can become a tuner when you want him to. He can retrieve your equip spells and or fire monsters, so very useful. Uh, and I also actually play, uh, in this new build, I, p I play Astolfo, just because you're more susceptible to hand traps now, so because you can't build Herald uh, as soon as you'd want to, you need something to be able to keep on going, and I feel like Astolfo has that ability to be that extra warrior that you might need to go into an Azold if the first effect gets Ogred, for example. Uh, and also, it, it, it helps you in the grind game, especially with decks going around, uh, which, uh, for example, you know, the, um, what's this called, uh, Drytron and stuff, which can kind of grind you, uh, Eldritch is still a thing, so you want something that will keep you going for the next few turns, I guess. So those are the uh, main deck Infernal Knights I play. I also play, I'll still play, uh, th 3 Gearfried. Again, really good card, can out a lot of problematic monsters in today's uh, my game. And yeah, it's just a really good card overall. And VFD can't be over this, so if you manage to get this on board, it probably is kind of difficult, especially if they activate um, VFD in the standby phase and call I don't know, fire, and then you can't get it out. But uh, if you're able to somehow save it for the next turn and survive that one turn, then this kind of uh, allows you to be over it if you couldn't uh, before. Also, it gets over Dragoon, so Dragoon is a very big problem, and this just gets rid of it without having to destroy it, so that's really good. Then for the bricks, we have one Gemba, one Despo, one and Colt Wing. Uh, I've gone for the Colt Wing instead of the Warbler run just because, again, without the Link Cross uh, plays and stuff, I've decided maybe it's better to try and go for 001 plays because he can keep on coming back and keep on giving you the advantage and the material you need for Synchro uh, cards. Uh, so I, I just think it's, it's, it's a lot better now than it was uh, before. I mean, obviously the deck has gotten a lot weaker, but... This is still a very, very uh, solid combo piece. Gamba, Gamba's just really good. He's a fire warrior. I was thinking of TG Striker, but the issue with TG Striker is that it it doesn't have it, it. Basically, the benefit you get for having TG Striker doesn't is, is not enough to make me want to play that over Gamba, because the utility that Gamba has, which TG Striker does not, kind of in my case is a bit more useful, especially because I am actually playing the Astolfo now, so it it makes more sense to have this instead of the TG Striker. And uh, now for my search cards, so I have uh, the three Heritage, obviously. 
I mean, Heritage of the Chalice gives you what, exactly what you need, every single combo piece. And to go along with that, I play the three uh, Durandal. Still don't play any of the other equip spells, just because this is basically what you need. I am actually thinking of uh, maybe putting it off for due tier, because there are back row decks now. Because there are back row decks now, so Alpha Dude here might be actually quite useful. Uh, yeah, really, really good card, gets you to what you need. Then we have the Living Fossil and the Divine Sword. So Living Fossil is a very, very good extender. Divine Sword, you just need it because it's a very good discard for DDR. It's just really good in general, good, good to discard off Oliver as well. So, very powerful. And then the three of that I'm playing is the DDR. Uh, this is just because Divine Phoenix Blade works so well with this deck that you can banish your Gembo, anything that you want banished, and you can just get it back with your DDR. So if they have Call by or something to try and get rid of your Tuna, you can just get it back. It also allows you to get back some of your more powerful monsters that get banished. So obviously because there is no le level restriction like there is with a Living Fossil, you can actually banish some of your stronger warriors. For example, Charles if he gets destroyed or something, and just summon him back. So it's, it's actually really, really powerful. Uh, and then final searcher, I have the rotor. I mean, obviously, gets you to every single thing that will help you in the deck. I actually don't main any uh, hand traps really, um, but ex 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 extended, I have a uh, monster reborn. Uh, again, ogre is a thing, gamma is a thing, Her <laughs> herald of the orange light is a thing. So you could just you could just bring back anything that you lose uh, and co um, call by. I mean, you're playing a combo deck. Why wouldn't you play call by? And then, also, because Callby is at 1, I play 2 Triple Tactics. This will allow me to hopefully try and play through the Hand Traps, although it has become a lot more difficult. Um, that's why I'm actually not playing the VFD build, because the VFD build, I think, from what I've seen anyway, from what I've tested, it loses quite badly to stuff like Nibiru and stuff. So, I don't know. I'd rather I, I'd rather try and play uh, a different version, which, I'm, which you'll see in a second, actually. And finally, I play Dark Ruler because when you go second and you want to combo off, and your opponent has three to four negates on the board, you can, yeah. Dark Ruler, pretty good. Now for the extra deck. So extra deck monsters, I play um, Herald, Roland, Coral, Power Tool, Omega, Savage, and Charles. So these are my synchros that I play, uh, just because I mean Herald is my negate that I will definitely go into this. Gives you a follow up for next turn as well as a pop with Charles. Coral Dragon, yes, I've kind of lost my levels that I might have wanted to make Coral Dragon, but he can still be made and it can still be good, especially if you have uh, Red Layer and uh, Renault. So, really, really good card. Allows you to draw as well. Get rid of back row if you need to. Powder Dragon, really good. Part of the combo you'll see in a second. Gets you to the equip spells that you're missing. Omega, this is kind of a. So, Omega, the main reason for Omega, I would say, is. Uh, being able to rip another card out of hand. So there are times where, uh, e even if you're playing against Dogmatica, for example, they also, if they summon Maximus, this is something to send to the grave and then shuffle something back. But also, uh, the, the reality is that being able to get rid of your opponent's cards, like almost permanent, not permanently, but you know, long enough for you to make a comeback, is actually quite important. So if you have enough extended extenders, instead of just going for the Savage, you can actually go for uh, Omega and hope that helps. I guess it kind of helps to bait our hand wraps as well in case they are afraid of getting the hit, uh, Nibiru hit. So Omega is really, really useful. Savage is a negate, so obviously I would play this. Uh, and Charles, Charles is the boss monster of the deck, so why wouldn't I? Uh, for the Lynx, uh, I play uh, Phoenix and Unicorn, so now the, deck has a bit more sp the extra deck has a bit more space. And because of that space, I've tried to fill it up with utility cards. There are a lot more back row, back, back row decks, so it's good to get try, try and get rid of the back row decks. Because before you go into Needle, I mean, if you if you try and pop something and then get rid of something else, uh, firstly, this will allow you to go into access code anyway, um, because you have a link through, you just need one more monster. This, however, you can get, try and get rid of something and then get a tuner on field and then go into Needle anyway, because like I said, most of the point of this deck in a way is to go into Needle Fiber. So being able to get rid of any problematic back rows, which may kind of uh, prove to be a problem later on, will help you to, with enough extenders, will allow you to go into Needle Fiber anyway. So these two cards are actually um, a lot better than they were before. Then I play the two is old, one gets destroyed, you can summon another one. So if the first effect gets ogred, you can summon another one and carry on from there. 
Um, also follow place, so you need more than one. Uh, two needle fiber or Halki Fibrax. Reason for that is, I mean, this is literally what the deck wants to do. Uh, sometimes you come into these situations where you don't have another machine, so you can go into needle fiber, make another needle fiber, and then link them off into Aurorodon. Speaking of which, we have Aurorodon. I mean, <laughs> again, a lot of these cards you probably already know. I don't need to go into too much detail, but Aurorodon is a thing. Uh, and finally, I have the uh, access code, just because sometimes when you summon Aurorodon, you just want to end the game rather than committing too much, I guess. So you just, uh, yeah, just destroy everything they have and then attack for a lot of damage. Uh, so that was the main deck. Um, I don't think I'm going to show the side deck because I feel like side deck, just because everything is still changing, there are still people learning new combos about uh, with a new deck. So, I mean, I guess in your in your side deck, you could just have things that would get have back row remo a lot of back row removal, just because the deck can struggle with a lot of back row removal. Other stuff, I guess, could include um, evenly matched stuff. You know, the blow blowout cards, which can actually help you out. So uh, I'm not going to show a side deck specifically in this one. I just wanted to show the new main deck. A side deck is up to you. Uh, you can do what you want with that. So uh, let's get onto the combo. So now we can get onto the combo. Uh, I'll only be showing the one combo because there are loads of combos available, obviously, depending on what kind of hand you have. So if you open the Renault, you can extend a bit further. If you open something else, you can extend a bit further. So depending on what you have will change how you may go around uh, playing. But uh, I'll just show you the uh, one combo, which is not as strong as it used to be. But again, uh, we are here to try and figure out how we can make our decks better. So we have our opening hand, which is three Dark Room No More, any Call by the Grave and a Neospace Connector. So we're trying to see what we can do with, with one connector. Neospace Connector effect will summon Aquadolphin. Aquadolphin can pitch a card, whichever one it is, to try and have a look at the hand. And then we still have the Call by for later. Then you link these two away into your Isolde. Uh, Isolde effect will activate and we're going to add our Gear Free to hand for next turn. If you open the Gear Freed, obviously we can summon it direct throughout the turn at some point. Uh, then we use uh, Zold's effect to send two equip spells to the grave. It's important we don't send DDR because we're going to be adding DDR later on. So we send these two and we summon out our Gemba. Uh, this is the part where we should have gone into Link Cross, but because of reasons, <laughs> uh, we can't do that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to link these two off uh, away into our Needle Fiber. And again, with more extenders, you can try and do other plays first. Alki Fabrax will summon now Decibel 001. Link these two away into Aurorodon. Aurorodon will summon out our three tokens. Uh, once we have our three tokens, uh, Decibel 001 will summon itself back because two or more machines were summoned at the same time. Then we can use two of the tokens and our desk bot to summon out our power tool. Power tool's effect will allow us to reveal three equip spells from my deck, revealing the three uh, DDRs, uh, and we'll just take one of them to, add to our hand because it's random. Shuffle the rest into our deck. And then, like I said, if you had something like a Renault or another extender, well, you could summon out Renault, make, the, make an Omega, or I don't know, you can make a uh, uh, Savage instead to have that negate here and then because you summon a Renault you can add back the living fossil that you sent earlier uh, And then using the living fossil you can summon out another monster and use Aurora Dawn's effect by attributing the token and the monster You just summoned out with fossil dick to carry on playing from there, but in this case we're just saying we have nothing else apart from uh, Connector in a way, so what we're going to do is we're going to use Aurora Dawn's effect here to tribute the power tool and the token to summon out Mega Phantom Beast Colwink Coldwing's effect will activate to summon two tokens. That means the Deathbot 001 will be summoned back. See now we have one, two, three, four. There would be a fifth space, so you could potentially have had an Omega or a Savage there. Now we can use the 001 and one of the tokens to make our Herald. So this is very late in the combo. The opponent would have probably Nibiru'd like 50 times by now. So, <laughs> uh, sorry, there were 50, 50 times where they could have uh, Nibiru'd us by now because we have summoned so many times. But at this point, we are kind of doing well. I mean, we've already had a look at the hand and we also have the call by. You obviously won't always have the call by. You won't 
always have the aqua dolphin but depending on your hand i mean we <laughs> i gave myself three dark rulers so obviously those are all bricks but there's po it's possible to have an extender of some sort and you can carry on playing from there then uh this at the moment is a level seven so potentially you could fossil dig back the gumba and make make a charles here already uh, and then try and ddr that back to make a level five but I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to carry on playing. Uh, we're now going to use the effect of our Divine Sword Phoenix Blade by banishing uh, the where is it gone? The Gemba, and it can be any other warrior. So in this case, it can be as old uh, Aqua Dolphin or Connector. I'm going to go for the Aqua Dolphin because I might be able to summon it out at some other point. Uh, and actually, to be fair, if you had a way of getting uh, the Gemba back without using a DDR, if you had a second DDR, you could actually summon this out first and try and rip another card out of hand because you already know what the hand looks like because you've already used the effect. So those are those kind of little things that you can take care of. Uh, we activate DDR, discarding the Phoenix Blade. Remember, Herald will banish any monster we discard, so we want to discard the Phoenix Blade, uh, unless you want your monster to be banished, which you probably don't. Uh, so we activate this, uh, and it summons out our Gemba in attack position. Now we can use Gemba and yeah, our token, that's level three, to summon out our, our uh, Roland. Effective Roland, for the end phase, I can send an equip spell and then add a warrior. Uh, and I'll probably add something like a uh, Renault or a, a Stolfo. Either of those two would do. Next, we have a five and a four. And we use both of these to make our Charles. Okay, so this would be our end board for now, I guess. Uh, we would have the call by, we have this for next turn, we have our follow up with Roland. It can, we can add whatever we want, really. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, anything we need, anything we're missing. Charles will not be equipping, obviously, will not be equipping the uh, smoke grenade. So, what I actually like to do is I, li I like to send uh, the Infernoble Knight uh, equip spell to the grave. Um, Durandal and then equipping that to Charles because if then Charles goes to grave at some point I can revive one of my monsters so for next turn I basically have a kind of macrocosmos from a hand or deck um, which is actually quite good against virtual world because well they activate from hand and they have to send from deck to grave and if they can't send from deck to grave then it's pretty good they have to normal summon to try and get over it when they normal summon try and attack over this I can just activate Roland equip it uh, to Charles and then just pop their monster and that's their normal summon gone. So then they have to try and special summon, and then one thing would get banished again. It's it's all it's all different things, and and obviously we will hopefully have more interruptions prepared anyway. So we have a pop and indicate uh, and kind of a macrocosmos. So this was the combo that I wanted to show you guys. This is the kind of the most basic version of it. Um, there are other things you can do depending on what you draw. Renault is really good to have. He's a tuner as well. There's so many different lines of play that you can think about. But this is actually just what I want to show you for now that the deck is not technically dead. Uh, there is a True King of All Calamities version of, as w of this deck as well. I'm not a fan of that version personally because it can just lose really quickly and you've gone through all of your resources, whereas this kind of has... I mean, we still have a Savage, we still have an Omega, we still have uh, Gayfried. We have a lot of follow-up plays still prepared in case they do Nibiru's at some point. So I think this is actually... My, my, my preferred build anyway. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, new list.